everyone you're welcome to Alain versus food so it's back to school week and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you 10 lunch box recipes yes we're going to be showing you typical nigerian meals that you can use when packing your lunch box for your kids guys i'm here to learn you can see me with these tools yes so, so if you're guys, new on our channel please do well to create the subscribe button turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos video. and if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much and please at the end of this video do let us get your sincere thoughts in the comment section and do want to also help us share this video so let's go into the cooking stage let's get cooking guys so this is recipe number one firstly you are going to parboil two cups of rice and then in a pot you add in some oil following with your onion give this a very nice mix so it doesn't burn and then you add in seasoning i'm just going to be using curry powder a bit of curry powder and thyme i'll give this another nice mix and then i'm going to add in my vegetables i'm adding in some carrots green peas scotch bonnet pepper and green pepper you can feel free to play with the vegetables add any one you have available give this another mix and allow your veggies to fry properly next i'll be adding in my meat stock so if you have meat stock feel free to add it if you don't have this step is optional you can skip it next i'll be adding in my seasoning cubes and some salt at this point i'm going to add in my coconut milk so you can use a store-bought coconut milk or then you can extract the coconut milk from the coconut fruit itself i'll allow this boil and then i'm going to add in my parboiled rice just going to give this a nice mix so i'm sure it's well combined and i'm going to add in enough water to cook my rice completely So as you can see our rice is cooked i'll just be sprinkling in some spring onions give this a final mix and then recipe number one is ready this is actually so easy as you can see and in 30 minutes you can put this together perfect lunch box recipe for your kids recipe number two firstly i'm going to be putting in some plantain i've cut up in the pot add enough water to cook my plantains and then i'm going to be adding a bit of salt and allow this cook properly while this is cooking at the other end i'm going to put some oil in a pan add in my onions then i'll follow in with my seasoning basically i just use thyme and curry for basically any recipe i'm doing except i just want to go overboard so thyme and curry following with my tomato paste this is a mixture of tomato pepper and a bit of onion quick tip guys one thing that really helps me with making lunch ready on time is to have some staple things available in the house so like this paste i always have it available and in subsequent videos i'm going to show you how i make this my go-to paste as you can see i just added fish to eat a bit of smoked fish seasoning cubes and salt and then i'm just going to give this a nice mix and allow it fry properly next i'm going to be adding in a bit of stock i have available and allow this boil properly and then i'm going to add in my vegetables for this recipe i'm using green yeah vegetables are absolutely good for your kids so you want to look for ways to incorporate vegetables into their meal so you can use ugu or any vegetable of your choice basically i'll give this a very nice mix allow it fry properly and that is it perfect to go with broad plantain recipe number three pasta so firstly i'm just going to put 
a bit of water in a pot allow it boil and i'm going to add in my spaghetti you can do this with macaroni or any pasta of your choice i'm going to add in a bit of oil and some salt allow this to cook properly while this is boiling on the other side i have a bit of chicken breast i've already cut up i'm just going to salt it and allow this fry You know your chicken breast is getting fully cooked when it becomes brown like you can see so it's fully cooked now and then i'll just be adding in my onion next i'll be adding in curry and thyme give this a very nice mix allow it fry and then i'll be coming in with my paste yes this paste i told you about guys I'll just give this a very nice mix, allow it fry properly. I'll be adding in some meat stock I have available. Next, I'll be adding in some seasoning. So I'm adding in some seasoning cubes and some salt. I'll give this another mix, allow it fry very well. And next, I'll be coming in with some vegetables I have available. So I'm going to be adding in some carrots and some green peppers. So guys, like I said, you have to always have to you always have to incorporate vegetables into your children's meal so any opportunity you have to put in some vegetables you have to make good use of that opportunity so this is fried now i'm going to be putting in my spaghetti and give this a very nice mix together guys like you can see all these recipes i'm sharing can be made in just 30 minutes because when you're trying to pack lunch for your kids you don't want something that is going to keep you in the in the kitchen for hours because you know you have to get them ready and they have to go to school on time so this is it quick pasta recipe you are obviously going to love as delicious as it looks and your kids are going to enjoy it i'll just be adding in a bit of spring onion i have available give this a final mix and then your recipe is ready guys if you have not subscribed and you're still watching make sure you click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up recipe number four in a pot you're just going to add in some red oil that's palm oil allow this fry and then you'll be putting in some onion when this fries properly you are going to add in your tomato mix so guys you see what i'm saying you need to have tomato mix available just have it in the freezer whenever you need it you just go and get some from it so give this a really nice mix so it doesn't burn allow this fry for a bit and then you're going to follow in with your seasoning so basically a bit of thyme a bit of curry and you are good to go next i'm going to be adding in my seasoning cube give this a really nice mix and then i'll be adding in some smoked fish i have available i'll give this another nice mix and then i'm going to be adding in some salt once this is fried properly i'm going to add in some yam you have already cut into cubes as you can see i'll just give this a really nice mix and add in enough water to cook the yams properly because these yams are raw as they are so you just add in the yam mix it properly and add in enough water to completely cook the yam So this has been cooking for up to 20 minutes and as you can see the yam is really soft i'm just going to mash this up because my baby is really little so i want it to be easy for him to eat so you can skip this step if you don't want your yam to be like mashed up but then i like it that way so i'm just going to mash it up i'll be adding in some crayfish so i blended mine with water and that's why it's in this form adding crayfish allow it boil again and as you can see 
this is ready so 30 minutes good to go lunchbox recipe recipe number five in a pot you'll be adding in two cups of rice adding some water to be able to cook this to a bit you know we're about to parboil the rice and allow this boil for a bit once it's ready we'll just keep aside and parboil in the same pot we'll be adding in some oil following through with our onion and then some curry powder and thyme I'll be adding a bit of garlic and ginger to this here yeah, because this is jollof rice. So I'm going to be adding a bit of ginger and garlic to this and then tomato paste. So like I said, this paste is a mixture of tomato, pepper and onion. I'll give this a really nice mix and allow it to fry. Next, I'll be adding in seasoning cubes and some salt. Next, I'll be adding in some meat stock I have available. Allow this boil properly. And then I'll be adding in enough water to cook my rice completely so if you're not too sure about the quantity you can decide to put the rice first before you add water but i kind of do the quantity of water i'll be needing so that was why i went ahead to put the water first so now i'll be adding in my rice just give this a really nice mix because once it starts cooking you don't want to be mixing it too much and then you know cover your pot and allow this boil this has been boiling for about 15 minutes so i'm going to put in my carrots and some green peas some green pepper just all the vegetables i have available allow this boil a bit more and then i can now you know mix this up together at this point the rice is almost ready it's just that there's a bit of water and then this is jello fry so we need to let it burn a bit yes because we want that smoky feel so this is perfectly ready as you can see and good to go your kids are absolutely going to love this recipe number six in a pan you add in enough oil to fry and then I have some plantains I've cut up. I'll be adding a bit of salt, mix it up together, and I'm transferring the plantain into the pan. Allow this fry on one side. Once it's properly fried on one side, you can flip the sides. Make sure your plantain doesn't burn. So when you're frying plantain, you have to be standing close by because you don't want it to burn. So once you can see it's golden brown like it is on your screen now, you can take them off. So next I'm going to reduce the amount of oil in the pan because I need just little for my sauce. I'm going to be adding in some onion, thyme and curry and then some tomatoes I have diced. I'll give this a really nice mix because I don't want it to burn. Next I'll be adding in some scotch bonnet pepper still mixing because this is on high heat and if you leave it it's gonna burn next i'll be adding in some seasoning cubes some salt i'll mix this up again so it's well combined and once this has been frying for a bit you can see that it's now fully cooked i'm going to be adding in two eggs I'm just going to allow this fry a bit and then I'm going to scramble them because this is a sauce so I'm just going to scramble it, allow it fry properly until I'm satisfied. So we're going to be pairing this egg sauce with our fried plantain and trust me that's a perfect combination. 
so now we are on to recipe number seven in a pan adding enough oil to fry and then i have some irish potato i have sliced up adding some salt mix it together and you're adding your irish potato that's like potato chips right <laughs> allow this fry properly i noticed potato takes a bit longer to fry and if you don't want it to just dry out make sure the heat is on medium high so i'll allow this fry for a while until i can see it's fully cooked so when it's fully cooked you see it begins to look like this and then i can just take it off the fire Once I'm done, I'm going to reduce the quantity of oil and then I have some diced chicken. I'll just salt this chicken and I'll begin to fry. So like I said, you know your chicken is fully cooked when it looks like this. It's now becoming brown. You know it's fully cooked. I'll add in some onion. I have diced. Give this a really nice mix. And then I'll be following in with a staple thyme and curry seasoning. I'll give this a nice mix so it doesn't burn. Allow it fry for a bit. And then I'm going to be adding in chopped tomatoes and pepper. So this is chopped tomatoes and pepper I've added in. I'm just going to allow this fry properly. So next I'll be adding in some seasoning and then some salt and then I'll just give this a really nice mix. My baby in particular loves this meal because of the diced chicken in it so he just keeps on picking the chicken to eat and trust me guys this is very very delicious. So you are going to be pairing this sauce with your Irish potato you fried that's with your potato chips. Recipe number 8 in a pot of water we're just going to be adding in plantain we've cut up and then some washed garden eggs you know this is for school so you are looking for the best way to make sure everything is done on time so we're just going to add the garden egg to it once this is cooked we're going to bring out the garden egg and then we'll proceed to mash it guys this is recipe number eight at the end of this video make sure you let me know which of these recipes is your favorite which of these recipes is your go-to recipe and what you think about this video like this is 10 recipes i'm sharing with you guys and that is for two weeks two weeks guys make sure you drop a comment in the comment section i can't wait to hear from you so we're just going to mash this up as you can see once we're done we're going to keep it aside and then we're going to proceed to fry i'm going to be adding some oil in the pan i'm going to be adding in some fresh fish you can use meat, you can use the boiled egg, you just feel free to use whatever you have available. But I'm going to be using fish, so I'm just going to fry the fish first. The fish is ready now. I'm going to set them aside and then in the pan, I'm going to add in some red oil. I'll follow in with some onions, scotch bonnet pepper, and then I'm going to be adding in the garden egg we have mashed. I'll just keep flipping this, mixing it properly and allow it fry. Once this has fried for a bit, I'm going to add in the fish back, mix this properly. I'll add in some seasoning cubes and some salt, give this a final mix, allow it fry. And then once this is ready, we can pair it with our boiled plantain. You can use yam if you prefer. Recipe number 9. In a pan, adding enough oil to fry and then we're going to be adding in some sweet potatoes we have cut up. We're going to allow this fry. Sweet potato also takes longer to fry. So you make sure that your fire is on medium and then you, you know, flip the sides. Keep flipping the sides. You don't want it to dry out and you don't want it to burn. Yeah. 
once this has been fully cooked as you can see you take this off the fire and then i'll just be adding in another set because i'm actually frying a pretty large quantity this morning So as you can see now, the sweet potato is ready. I'm going to be getting this off the fire also. And then I'm going to reduce the oil, adding my chicken breast I have already salted. And then I'll just allow this fry. Guys, if you notice, I like to use chicken breast because you don't need to pre-cook chicken, chicken breast. Aside the fact that it's very healthy, it's very nutritious, like that's one of the healthiest part of the chicken. You don't need to pre-cook. So next, I'll be adding in my onion to the chicken breast when I see it's fully cooked. And then I'll follow in with our staple curry and thyme. So I'll just give this a really nice mix so it doesn't burn, allow it to fry properly and then I'm going to be adding in my chopped veggies. I have tomato, green pepper, scotch bonnet pepper. I'll add in the tomato and pepper first and then I'll follow in with the green pepper. So this has been frying for a while now. I'm going to be adding in some meat stock I have available. So once I've done this, I'm just going to season to taste. I'll be adding in a bit of seasoning cubes and some salt. I'll give this a nice mix until the veggies are fully cooked and then I'm going to be adding in my sweet potato back. This is like one of our favorite recipes and this is perfect, perfect lunch idea for your kids also. We'll just give this a really, really nice mix until you see everything is well coated and we are satisfied. So guys, this is what it will look like at the end. Recipe number 10. In a pot, I'm going to be adding in about two cups of thoroughly washed rice. For this recipe, I'm going to be using long grain rice. And then I'll move on to add some meat stock I have available. I'll add it to the rice, adding enough water to cook the rice completely. Next, I'll add in some salt, some seasoning cubes. Some curry. A bit of time and then I'm going to be adding in this spice for fried rice I like to use so I'll be giving this a really really nice mix I'm going to be adding in a bit of vegetable oil because you don't want your rice to be sticky so add in vegetable oil enough water you're sure is going to cook your rice completely and then allow this cook once this is ready it's going to look like this so you just set that aside and move on to the next stage in the pan i'm going to add in a bit of egg just a tiny bit of egg and i'm going to scramble in two eggs so the only thing i added to these eggs is just a bit of salt i'm going to scramble this quickly and then i'm going to take it off and set aside So next in the pan, I'm going to add in a little bit of oil and then I'm going to add in some sausages. I'm just going to fry the sausages properly, flip the sides, make sure it is ready. When it looks like this, you know it's cooked, I'm going to add in some onion and then I'm going to be following in with a bit of thyme and curry. I'll give this a really nice mix. I'll add in my vegetables, I'm adding green peas, I'm adding carrots. I'm adding sweet corn, I'm adding in some 
spring onion some scotch bonnet pepper and then i'm just going to give this a really really nice mix together guys i know some people say your baby can't take fried rice to school but trust me guys if your fried rice is well cooked you can of course take it to school and it's going to still be in good shape so i just added a bit of seasoning cubes and some salt to this give this a really really nice mix once the veggies are fully cooked i'm going to be adding in uh, our rice back so as you can see i'll just be adding in this rice and then once i'm done with that i'm going to give this a really really nice mix so guys like we just shared with you all 10 recipes like 10 whole recipes let us know what you think about them in the comment section make sure you give this video a thumbs up so youtube can share it to more people that are going to find it helpful if you have not make sure you click the subscribe button also as you can see we're just going to be adding in our scrambled egg now give this a final mix and our fried rice is ready we can't wait to hear from you all in the comment section and we really hope you found it helpful thank you so much guys for watching this video we'll catch you in our next video bye